Hey, what's up everyone? David here and welcome back to another video. Today, it is a special video. I don't do a lot of these videos, but I still feel like they're extremely interesting. This is my top 10 Atlas games of all time, all series included. And it's kind of like also a top 10 Atlas games that you need to play absolutely because they're freaking amazing. If you like the content and you want more content on anything, Atlas, SMT, Persona and more, make sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell. And without any further ado, let's jump right into my top 10 Atlas games of all time. Starting off with Persona 4 Golden. Game is available on PlayStation Vita, PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series platforms, and Nintendo Switch. Note that some of these platforms will get the official release of P4G in January of 2023. This final spot for the top 10 was a hard pick for me. I had to give it to Persona 4 Golden though. The cast of characters is absolutely amazing. The game is special and I honestly think everyone who's played it before would agree with me on this one. I also always have the soundtrack in my mind to this day because of how great and memorable it is. The story is also fantastic with new Narukami and his friends exploring the town of Inaba and its various mysteries. Number 10 is my position in my top 10 for Persona 4 Golden. It doesn't mean that it's a bad game, far from it, it's absolutely fantastic. It just shows how great Atlas games are in general, with it being my 10th favorite game. Number 9 needs to go to Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga on PlayStation 2. Digital Devil Saga is a special game to me. From its charming and well-written characters to its perfectly crafted soundtrack, Digital Devil Saga is a gem amongst the Megaton universe that doesn't get enough praise for how amazing it is. The art style is simple but effective and it definitely is one of the most unique Megaton games with the characters being able to transform into demons for example. Digital Devil Saga is also on top of the list in terms of Atlas stories and deserves a spot on everyone's favorite JRPG from this generation in my opinion. Number 8 goes to Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, which is a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, PC, and Nintendo Switch game if you include the HD remastered version of the game. What more is there to say about SMT Nocturne? Now, now SMT 3 is definitely one of the most appreciated Atlas games out there, and it certainly deserves the praise in my opinion. Evolving from a young human to a demi-fiend is absolutely glorious and never gets old. The moments that you will experience when playing Nocturne for the first time are extremely special. This is where the press turn system as we all know and love kind of started and Nocturne deserves a ton of point for me because of that. Not only did SMT3 introduce some of my favorite demons in the series, but it also has one of the best stories of all mainline in my personal opinion. Number 7 goes to Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation Portable. I'm also including Persona 2 Innocent Sin here for this one. Now I do have to admit that this pick is partly driven by nostalgia. I played both Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment very early on in my Persona career and I have a soft spot for them but Eternal Punishment is a standout. The music and characters are extremely unique as always with Persona but also very memorable. The protagonists of both these games are my top favorite for Persona games and that is saying a lot. The gameplay to me is very fun regardless of the fact that it aged a little bit. I don't think Atlas has plans to bring back these games anytime soon unfortunately, but I definitely am still dreaming about it, okay? Number 6 goes to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim which is a PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch game. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is an original title developed by Vanillaware, but it's published by Atlas, so I am technically cheating on this one, but this game absolutely deserves a spot on this list regardless. 13 Sentinels immediately stands out with how beautiful the art and graphics are. The soundtrack in this one is absolutely fantastic as well and I found myself to be enjoying the RTS combat system quite a bit even though I'm generally not a fan of these systems. The story and characters of this game are by far my favorite aspect from this beautifully crafted game. How can you make a game with 13 characters, time travel, and also gameplay from multiple eras make sense? Yeah, that's 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim for you. You should play it. Number 5 goes to Shin Megami Tensei 5, which as of the recording of this video is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Say what you want about its story, but SMT5 has absolutely amazing gameplay, peak JRPG gameplay if you ask me. 
The press turn combat system is my favorite battle system of all time, and SMT5 with its multiple demons and new skills is a total blast to play from start to finish. The game looks incredible and plays great on Switch, especially on the go. My man Ryota Kazuka, the composer of Shin Megami Tensei 5, completely outdid himself with this soundtrack, with some of these new tracks already being some of my favorites of all time. To me, it's already clear that SMT5's soundtrack is a top 5 Atlas soundtrack of all time. Some of the new demons introduced in SMT5 are some of my favorites and traveling around the world of Dahath is extremely fun with how, with how slick Nahobino is to control. Number 4, Catherine Full Body and Catherine the Original Game, both versions I can recommend with Full Body being a PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch game and the original also being available on 360, PS3, and PC. Catherine is very different from anything Atlas touched before. It's a game that was developed by a brand new studio at Atlas called Studio Zero, and it's also one of Atlas's first attempt at HD game development. A story that originally started with a love triangle expanded even more with the addition of a new character in the full body version of the game. The gameplay was surprisingly very fun when I played it for the first time, and although I hardcore sucked at it to be honest, it was still fun to climb and evade the hands of demons climbing behind you as you try to survive. I feel like I'm always repeating myself in this video when it comes to Atlas music and soundtracks, but yeah, Catherine also has an extremely memorable soundtrack, oh, and it's also one of the best stories that Atlas ever told. Number 3 goes to Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked. Uh, the original version is also fantastic, available on DS, and Overclocked is a 3DS port of the game. Devil Survivor is the most underrated Shin Megami Tensei game in my opinion. The game features fantastic characters, multiple endings like in a lot of SMT games, but almost all of them are bangers. The story of the game starts very abruptly when it hooks you right away from the start. Tokyo is turning into a war zone and demons are infesting all areas around town which leads to the government to put the country in a lockdown. The tone and setting is extremely good for immersion even though you are playing on a small Nintendo DS screen. Devil Survivor has the charm of a Persona game but the memorability and fun gameplay of a mainline game. A great soundtrack, tough buzz battles and overall the best original and unique combat system in an Atlas game in my opinion. It's a mix of press turn but on a grid. Think of it as a Shin Megami Tensei cross Fire Emblem game. See what I did there? Number 2 goes to Persona 5 Royal. The game is available on PlayStation 3, 4, 5, PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One and Xbox Series platforms. What more is there to say about Persona 5? The game the game stands out for multiple reasons, but mostly because of its awesome art style, diverse gameplay, both during daily life stuff, but also in dungeons. The game has a very intriguing and fascinating storyline that kept me totally hooked from start to finish of this 120 hours long journey. The music is literally one of the best from the last decade, the cast of characters is really endearing, social links are very fun to get through, and offer a lot of great advantages. It is just a fantastic experience from start to finish, and it never gets old. I am on my fourth playthrough right now, and it's still a blast. My number one pick goes to Shin Megami Tensei 4, which as of the time of recording this video is only available on Nintendo 3DS. SMT4 is quite possibly my favorite game of all time. The game features a great cast of characters both for the main party but also for the antagonists and even random NPCs in game. Everything about SMT4 is memorable. For From certain fights uh, like the Minotaur fight at the start of the game or just as you research for the Black Samurai around Mikado, I felt really invested through my whole playthrough. SMT4 has great story pacing, a 10 out of 10 soundtrack, and of course, amazing gameplay with the new smirk mechanic that was implemented in the otherwise well-known press turn combat system from, from other Atlas releases. Atlas is my favorite game developer, and they're freaking amazing. There's so many more games that I wanted to put on this list, but unfortunately, I had to rank a few, and this is what I could come up with. Don't think too much of it of the placements in this video. You should try out all these games. They're all amazing. You're 
top 10 will differ from mine. And I would absolutely love it if you guys could drop a comment and let me know what is your top 10 Atlas games of all time. And feel free to uh, give me your opinion on my list as well. Thank you all so much for watching this different type of video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a quick thumbs up is a big help. And as again, and as always, if you're new to the channel and you want more content on anything Atlas SMT Persona, you're at the right place. Make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. You have a great day, y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.